Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. Question for British NLB applicants. Can, can I use a UK S1 form instead of a private health insurance to obtain a Spanish non-lucrative visa? Let's see the answers of Spain, Spain Guru community members. And let, let's clarify first what's the British S1. The British, British S1 certificate is a document that entitles a UK national who is living abroad to receive healthcare coverage in the country they reside in while their healthcare costs are covered by the UK government. The S1 certificate is usually issued to people who are receiving a UK state pension or certain other UK benefits. It can also be issued to people who are working abroad by still paying UK national insurance contributions. The certificate allows the holder to access healthcare services on the same basis as a resident of the country they are living in. Now, let's see the answers of Spain Guru community members. Yes, we use the S1s for our NLV, all accepted, okay. Next one, one. Yes, we use our S1 for our NLV. We to register it on the, the Spanish Social Security website. The consulate we, we attended in Edinburgh gave us the details. We only waited, waited two, three weeks for the S1, as long as you are in receipt of the government retirement pension. Next, yes. Several of my, my clients, professional answer here, several of my clients have done this successfully at the consulates in the UK. Ne next, you can once you reach retirement age, 67, seven. Next, yes, my mother used it last year and no problem, problems, we're about to renew. Next answer, apply for it early. I am still waiting from last November and this is in March. So take, make your calculations. November, December, January, February, March, five months. Loads of phone calls, handwritten letters and emails. Good luck. Next one. My husband applied and we received it within three days for NLV. As his wife, I was also eligible. And, and the last one. Yes, yes, we have many clients who have used their S1. In conclusion, it appears that using an S1 form uh, instead of a private health insurance to gain the non-lucrative visa is a viable option, as several members of the Guru community attest to successfully using their S1 for this purpose. It's important to know that this option may only be available for those who have reached retirement age and are in receipt of government retirement pension. However, there are some reports of delays and difficulties in obtaining the S1, so it may be advisable to apply for it early. Overall, while maybe some challenges involving the process, it seems that using an S1 form can be an effective way to obtain a Spanish non-lucrative visa. You can become part of our Spain Guru community today by joining our Facebook groups. Our most important group is the Spain Immigration and Residency Questions group, with over 17,000 members. We also have dedicated groups for Spanish non-lucrative visas, with more than 2,300 members, and for the Spanish Digital Nomad Visa, with 2,000 members. And if you need expert professional advice, we've got you covered. Just head to spainguru.es and check out our top menu. You'll find immigration experts, relocation agencies, tax advisors for Spanish and US filings, sworn translators, apostille services, and health insurance providers for all types of Spanish visa applications and renewals. That includes non-lucrative visas, golden visas, student visas, and digital nomad visas, as well as medical certificates for visa applications and travel insurances. Finally, I highly recommend you, you join our weekly newsletter, which we send out every single Monday morning. You'll get tons of information, questions and answers, featured blog posts, and even news updates. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.